I'm here with Ethan Ori. He's a member of the Centralia Community College baseball team. So, Ethan, first question I have for you is, you're out here for the alumni game, and what's it like seeing the uh, the old timers, the old farts out here playing? Uh, it, it's it's nice to see them. I mean, we're just out here having fun, get us better, see what the old Blazers used to have. And it's just a good time out here. You know, and you know, here you are this year. A lot of things have changed. You got a brand new head coach, and um, even just the the mindset of Centralia has changed quite a bit, even from last year. So, what's it like for you, being a sophomore, seeing that that transition from last year to this year? I really wish we had him last year, um, but he's he's making a name for us, like making us bigger, putting a name on our title, and we're getting our name out there, and hopefully, we'll win some more games than last year. You know, a big thing I've seen with, with him is he's really wanting you guys to earn everything. you got to earn uh, even just the logo on your shirt. So what's it like to come out here and have that level of competition and push you got to have this year? It makes us, like, actually, like, earn it. He wants us to work hard, earn why we're here. We're playing JUCO ball. This isn't, like, high school ball or anything. He wants us to actually earn it, work hard, on and off the field, even in the classroom. And then you know, here we are in fall ball. So what is kind of your goals and kind of one of the things you want to accomplish this fall as you get ready for next spring? Uh, I want to be seen by bigger colleges. Uh, I want to be better at what I'm bad at. Um, no, that's bad at it. You know, and you know, being a college baseball player, you know, it's not a, it's not an accident. You get this far. There's, there's some things that happen. And, and uh, who has been in your life that kind of pushed you, and motivated you to get this far? Most of my parents. They've pushed me multiple times. My old head coach at my high school. I was thinking about stopping because I wasn't the greatest. He pushed me to be a better me, continue who I am, make me a better person on and off the field as well. Awesome. And then, you know, one of the things that younger players, you know, especially kids will do as they're growing up, kind of mimic a, a major league baseball player. There's someone you kind of mimicked, even in style or just in personality? Uh, in style on defense is Andrew Elton Simmons. He's, he's a good guy on the field, makes any plays, and same with Javier Baez as well. Yeah, Baez is probably the quickest hands in baseball right now. So last question I have for you, you know, you get a lot of kids come out and watch games. What advice do you have for them that as they try and, you know, play at the higher level, whether it be high school, college, College or on after that? Uh, work hard. Even if it's in the classroom, no matter what, work hard. You'll come through rough times. Like, success isn't a straight shot uphill. You're going to go through up and down hills. Just, you just got to push through that. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.